Ibn Abi Hatim also makes mention of a narration whereby, and we've spoken about this when we were dealing with Surah An-Nisa earlier, where at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu there were some hypocrites who used to, whenever they had a, uh, an issue or whenever they had a dispute with someone, they used to study the dispute and they used to ask themselves, if I go to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's going to now issue a decree according to the Quran and the Sunnah, obviously meaning according to the law of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, will I gain anything? If the answer was yes, they were quick to go. If the answer was no, they opted to go to the fortune tellers and the others from among the people of other faiths. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exposes such people. One of the verses exposing these people, verse number 48 of Surah An-Nur and the following verses. Allah says, وَإِذَا دُعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ لِيَحْكُمَ بَيْنَهُمْ إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ مُعْرِضُونَ وَإِن يَكُنْ لَهُمُ الْحَقُّ يَأْتُوا إِلَيْهِ مُذْعِنِينَ When they are called in order to solve their matters according to the Sharia, then they, a group from amongst them turns away. But if they find that they are gaining something by doing that, they are the first to go and the first to make sure that they get the right. I think this seeps into our lives as well. Sometimes where people, when they've got a problem, financial problem, family problem, marital issue, or any other issue, the weakness is, we are Muslimin, we want to sort it out according to the Sharia, yes. But the minute you find out Sharia is going to give custody to the man or the, 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 the wife, we are quick to say, no, I prefer to go to the court. Let's, let's understand. You want to adopt the Sharia, you want to adopt Islam? Well, then you better adopt it if you call yourself a Muslim. You are a person who surrenders to Allah. Don't look at what, whether you are gaining or not in order to decide whether you will be going to Muhammad Wasallam for the solution or you are going to the shaitan for the solution. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and may he open our doors.